he never broke my houses either. <laughs> but uh, still, forgiveness made us able to be friends in spite of this little confrontation. Okay? Okay, you release your anger and resentment and hostility. You begin to feel empathy and compassion. Wow. Sometimes the people who have hurt you, you can even get to like them. Right? Wow. And uh, of course, there's a difference between loving people and liking people. Isn't that right? <laughs> there's lots of people that we can dislike. The, Pharisees weren't likable men, but Jesus loved them, didn't he? Because he cared about their eternal salvation. Okay? People, forgiving people, have more sat are more satisfied with their lives. They have less depression, less anxiety, less stress, less anger, less hostility. Wow. The Fetzer Institute found out that almost two-thirds of all Americans say they need more forgiveness in their personal lives. That's two out of three people, just almost. Okay? So, making forgiveness part of your life. Forgiveness is a choice. And uh, you can choose. You're choosing to offer compassion and empathy to the person who wronged, wronged you. And uh, I've had some bad things happen to me. My partner stole, I went on a vacation, first time in three years. Uh, and uh, when I came back uh, a month later, she had stolen my whole business. And she fired me. <laughs> my partner, she fired me after my first vacation and took the whole business in my father's office and expected my father to give her patients into physical therapy. And uh, it took me a year to get over my bitterness and finally I went back to her and asked forgiveness for not treating her as a Christian man. And uh, so I had freedom and she had some problems in her life, but that wasn't my business. And uh, I went through two marriages. They divorced me, and uh, it damaged my, I was angry with God. And so it, until I could forgive them, and uh, uh, I wandered in the darkness. When I let God give me the forgiveness of Christ, forgive them, for they know not what they do. See? And uh, then I was able to grow again. So, reflect and remember. Okay, uh, this you have to you have to think about the events and how you react. Yeah, and how you felt, and how anger and hurt affect you since then, and others too. Because if you let it hurt you, it's going to hurt others. And then, some people never even remember. They don't, they hurt you and then they go their way. They, uh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't even remember you. But you allow them to continue injuring you, when they're gone and you forgot, they forgot you. See? And so that's what God wants us to do in forgiving them, to escape the damage they continue to do us because we do to ourselves when they're gone their, their way and they've forgotten us. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, this is an interesting one. This is a true photo. You see, you can see the people out there, some of them are falling all by themselves. And some are falling with them. But there's a group in the middle that are relying on each other and gaining uh, empathy and uh, 